Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Hello. ¿Me escuchan? Hello. ¿Me escuchan? Teacher. Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok, how are you today? Very good. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. That you're okay. How was everything? How was your day? That are you tired? Está cansada. No, me siento bien. Ah, I'm pretty good. I feel a little bit tired because uh, today we were doing a lot of things with my my mother-in-law so that's why we were a little bit tired but we are okay okay tell me did you study the numbers what did you study the numbers estudió los números No, no sé. Quizá no, no, no te esa parte. Ah, no se acuerda. Mm. Ah, la caché. <ríe> ok, entonces para, para mañana. Los uh -huh. números eran, se recuerda que estuvimos viendo lo de los años, 1906. Uh -huh. sí, sí. Vale, entonces les dije, practiquen lo de los números. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, ayer lo estuvimos viendo. Sí, pero todavía tenemos mañana. Mañana finalizamos el curso. Ok. Don't worry. So you have to do it because that is a, an information that you should do it because that is going to help you, help you uh, every single day. Because if you listen and like, for example, uh, ok, so can you write my number? Ok, escriba el número que le voy a dar. Ok. Ok, my number is uh, 74 54 um, 19 43. Ajá. <ríe> ya ve. 4 74. Ajá. Five, five, four, ten, four. Let's say another one. Okay. Uh, two thousand forty-three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Escríbamelo en el chat. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to your English class. Adriana, escríbeme el número al chat. Yo escuché que me dijo 43. Mm -hmm. Four. 2000? Uh -huh. 2043. Uh -huh. 2043. Uh -huh. 43. Hello, Hello, welcome back to your English class. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Ya veo el chat, Adriana. Okay. Hello, everybody. Rodolfo, hello. How is everything? Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome back. Ready to learn English today. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Hello. With a wonderful teacher. Oh, I'm so, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Okay, thank you so much. Rosenberg, Rosenberg, Rosenberg. 
Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Corríjame, Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Es, es Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Ay, Dios. Rosenberg. Ok. ¿Cómo es que usted siempre dice, dice las dos de un solo, entonces solo una. Ah, bueno, pues si no me regañen una, me regañen la otra. Está bien. Está bueno. ¿Cómo siguió siempre su dice palabra? Rosenberg. Rosenberg. <risa> eh, pues ahí eh, ya un poco más estable. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno, qué bueno. Me alegra escuchar eso. Me alegra muchísimo. Gracias oh. a Dios, todo, todo va saliendo bien. Gracias a Dios y primero Dios ya va a ver que se va a mejorar más. Muchas gracias. Ok, hello everybody. How is everything? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jocelyn. How are you today? Fine, and you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. I'm great. Okay, everybody. I'm glad to see you and I'm glad to hear you again. Again, I don't know if you did your homework. Uh-huh. You did your homework? I don't know. I don't know. Ajá, uh -huh. why? A me tocó que ir a San Salvador. ¿A dónde? Ir a, San Salvador. a San Salvador. Ah. Ahí que no la pude hacer. Ah, ¿y qué vino a hacer a San Salvador? A hacerle una ultra con mi esposo. Ah, yo pensé que me quería venir a ver. Ah. <risa> No conozco mucho a Salvador. Me hubiera dicho, miren, teacher, aquí ando, miren. Ah, vaya, le hubiera dicho. A la próxima. Ajá. No, hombre, está bueno. Qué bueno que se nota. Mande. ¿Qué hice? Y yo buscándola cuando fue a inglés corporativo. ¿Cuándo yo fui o cuando usted fue? Cuando usted fue a inglés corporativo, me andaba buscando. Sí, pero ahí no vimos a nadie. Cuando fuimos a, a recoger los diplomas. Ah, sí, es que como no pasó ahí. Me hubiera dicho, mire, vamos a llegar hasta el día, por ejemplo, el martes. Vaya, hubiera hecho el esfuerzo, hubiera llegado ahí, mire. Y así me hubieran conocido. Sí, ni modo. Ni modo, la, la próxima, próxima será. será. Cabal. Excelente. Ok, sí. everybody. So, we are going to start with the class. So I hope that you uh, did the homework or some practice about it. And also we have to do it a little bit practice with the numbers, right? So please practice the numbers. That is very important, okay? That's, that is a general information that is going to help you, okay? So today is Tuesday, April 27th. Yes, 2021. 2021 or 2021 okay so the topic that we are going to try to cover today is going to be was where and did yes those are the auxiliary that we are going to use just in the past yes so we're going to do some practice about them because that we're going to uh, discuss uh, an exercise, I guess, on the page 103. So I'm not sure exactly, but that activity is in the platform and also in your digital um, material. Okay, so we're going to continue with the agenda, the agenda for today, the gradings that we already did. We're going to have the review about yesterday class. The topics that we're going to try to cover today is going to be was, were, and did. Those are the auxiliaries that we're going to use in the simple past, yes? Was and were is for the verb to be, and did is the auxiliary uh, do or does in the present, yes? Do you remember that? Se recuerdan que estuvimos hablando del auxiliar did que en presente sería el do o el das y yes. el was y were si recuerdan que es el verbo to be pero en pasado yes. 
Ok, hoy vamos a tratar de utilizarlos y ver cuál es la diferencia o cómo vamos a identificarlos, cuál utilizar. Ok, porque a veces tenemos así como la dificultad de identificar, ah, es was, ah, o es did. Ok, so we're going to do it. Eh, some practice about that. Y recuerden de que este, los dos auxiliares, bueno, los tres, perdón. Este son para, solo para pasado. Ok. So we're going to practice the topic and thank you everybody. Now you already finish the practice in the platform. Yes. And if you have any question about any topic, you can use the, the platform. You can watch the video that we have over there that you can practice any topic that you have a little bit Um, issues with that. Pueden utilizar la plataforma para poder reforzar algún tema que ustedes crean que todavía tienen algún inconveniente o algún problema. Yes. Okay, so we're going to read the general objective. Students will be able to learn and practice the use of the past uh, was, were, and did. Yes. So this is my participation for now. And so you are going to talk about the things that you remember that we were discussing yesterday. Ok, les toca hablar para ver qué estuvimos estudiando el día de ayer. Ajá, voluntarios. Ok, WH question, we were discussed. Ok, and the auxiliary, which one? Uh -huh. Was and work. Okay, we were discussing yesterday this, the question using the auxiliary was and where, right? Uh, structure. Okay, we were discussing. How, was, and where question. Oh, okay, excellent. We were discussing about the structure, how we are going to do the questions, right? Do you remember how we're going to do the questions, but using the was and where? Yes. Okay, tell me. Was and where? Uh -huh. The structure. Object. The structure. Uh -huh. uh, so was and where? Uh, uh -huh. Subject. Uh -huh. The subject and complement. Uh -huh. And don't for, mark. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't forget that we are going to use the question mark at the end when, when, when we are going to do some questions, right? So please don't forget that, that at the end we are going to use the question mark. Okay, so also we were discussing about is some uh, affirmative sentences. Yes, we're discussing that. And also we were discussing the question, how we're going to use. Yes? Yes. Okay. So after that, I need a volunteers that can explain me about how we're going to use was and where. Necesito un voluntario o voluntaria que me explique con sus propias palabras cuándo vamos a utilizar el was en where. Voluntario. Mi teacher. Ok, thank you. <coughs> eh, el was se va a ocupar para la para la primera y tercera persona, o sea, eh, I, he, she, and it. Y where eh, sería para uh -huh. la tercera we, persona. And you. Ok, excellent. That was easy, right? Easy. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, sí. Y se, okay. Y se recuerdan eh, 
¿Qué significa cada uno de ellos? Bueno, son dos, ¿verdad? Cero, estar en pasado. Ajá, ¿y cómo estuve, sería? Estuve. Oh, estuve. Ok. Se fijan de que, y se recuerdan que, cuando vamos a utilizar el was, el was, <ríe> el was y el where, no vamos a utilizar los verbos después, ¿verdad? Porque si utilizamos otro verbo, lo tenemos que poner con ing y tenemos que hacer un progresivo, ¿sí? Yes. Ok, esa es la clave cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Ok, so any question about how we're going to use was and were? No, yes, preguntas. Teacher, yes, no, a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Siempre, siempre que ocupamos el was and where, es necesario ocupar el, eh, el last yesterday o el ago. Yes, tenemos que utilizarlo porque estamos hablando de cosas que ya pasaron, ¿sí? All right. Uh -huh. Any other question? Any other question? Ok, so, si no tienen ustedes preguntas, yo sí tengo. No, ok, uh, so, what we are going to do right now? Uh, you did your homework. If you didn't do your homework, so we're going to do a little bit practice. So, we're going to do is a question. Like, for example, I will say to Kenya Garcia, where you were you born in this city were you born in this city no i wasn't uh -huh. i was born in uh, el salvador o san salvador okay excellent Okay, so what we are going to do right now. Um, ustedes le van a hacer una pregunta. Por ejemplo, yo le hice una a Kenia. Kenia le va a hacer otra pregunta a alguien más. Y ese alguien más la va a responder. No sé si me voy a, a, a entender. Siempre la misma, teacher. Ajá, o de las... Quiero ver si hicieron. Sí, hicieron alguna, ¿verdad? De tarea. Es que no estoy en mi casa, no logré llegar y no tengo mis apuntes. Ah, vaya, está bien, entonces. Este... ¿Puedo, hacer la, ¿Puedo hacer la misma? Puede hacer la misma. Ok, sorry. Ahí está, ahí está un voluntario, ya vio. Vaya. <risa> <risa> Dele. Eh. ¿Quién es el voluntario para decir el nombre? Sí, Jorge. 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 Where you born in the city? Uh, no, I was, I was, I was born in San Salvador. Okay, now you are going to ask question, Jorge. To anybody. Uh, Esta misma right. no, usted va a improvisar otra. Ay, okay. Quiero ver que no los logro ver a todos, teacher. Mire, tengo a Carla, tengo a Rodolfo, tengo a Catherine Giselle, tengo a Adriana, tengo a Carla Marisela. Ay, tengo a Miguel Alexander, Roxana, Juan Fernando, Raquel, Rosenberg, Mario Adolfo, eh, eh, Velázquez de León, Miguel, Norma. No, ahí tiene un montón. Stephanie, Jesús, Maybelline, Jocelyn, Kenia, Kenny. Ya le dije un montón de nombres, Jorge. Mm, el número de las listas no tiene ahí en, a la mano, teacher. Mm, vaya, de mi número, pues, lo voy a ayudar. 
ejemplo. Nueve, teacher. Vaya, permítanme, pues. Nueve. The number nine. The number nine, Carla Maricela Reyes López. Carlita. Ok. <ríe> Jorge, hágale la pregunta. La misma, Matiche. No, otra. Improvise. Pero, <laughs> pero. I have a question for her. Ok. Pero, teacher. Ahí está. Que no los, de, la tarea. Eh, los demás empiecen a preguntar a, a pensar una que aunque no les toque pero estén atentos Jorge necesita ayuda yes teacher vaya le voy a poner otra vaya aquí están ¿ve? No, voy a improvisar mejor, teacher. Tengo vale. que aprender. Dele, pues. Where you go, teacher. ¿Mm? Ponga la, la volada anterior, teacher. Yo no me acuerdo el complemento. Esa era la que estaba anteriormente. Mm, vaya. No, pues no me voy a, voy a copiar de aquí, teacher. Vaya, was he surprised? ¿A quién? Ah, pero es, ok. Digamos que estábamos hablando del novio de Carla, si, si tiene. Entonces usted le pregunta, was he surprised? Was he surprised? Carla. ¿Qué significa surprise? Es como sorpresa. sorpresa. Ajá. Mm. Yes. I was. Ok. Um. Mm -hmm. Ok, he was. En este caso, he was porque estaba hablando de he. Was he surprised? Okay. Yes, he was. Or no, he wasn't. Yes, okay. he was. Ok, the last, okay. the last volunteer. Me, teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Norma Enríquez, creo que se llama. Uh -huh. eh, were you busy yesterday? Well. Mira, repite, por favor. Bueno. Were you busy yesterday? Where was? Were you busy? Was ocupado. Es ocupado. Yes, I was. Okay, that was easy, right? Okay, I don't know if you if you understand about how we're going to use was and were. Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent. If you have any question, please let me know. Okay. Did you do this activity? Hicieron esta actividad? No me van a decir que no se las mandé porque sí se las mandé. Teacher, no iban ahí en, la, en el PDF. Ahorita veo en mi WhatsApp. ¿Cómo no ahí venía? Ah, va. Chévere. ¿La hicieron? <risa> mentalmente. Ah, mentalmente. <risa> Ok. <risa> Están chula. Ok. Sí, so porque, o sea, al, al, al leerlo mentalmente uno sabe cuál es la respuesta. Por ejemplo, uh. la primera es was. Vea. I was in Colombia la spring. Ok. We were at school last Monday. A school. A school. A school, ok. Corina was at 
home yesterday. Yesterday. He was angry. Angry. Mm -hmm. Robert, Robert and Sam uh, were Jason where? friends. You were very busy. Very busy. Busy. Very busy Wednesday. on Wednesday. 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 They were. They were in front of the supermarket. Supermarket. I was. I was, I was in the park. In the park. She was. She was in El Salvador. Salvador. That month. Frances. Francesca, Francesca, Francesca y Lali, where, 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 for, for school. school, late for school. school. Okay, oh. qué feliz me siento, hasta el libro se me cayó. <risa> qué bien, qué bien, entonces vamos a poder hacer una, una actividad oh. más adelante. Okay, thank you everybody that I, I, I'm so happy that you already understood this topic uh if you have any question please uh, let me know i will help you anytime when you want okay so i will stop to sharing right now my short presentation because we're going to start with the the attendance that is going to be the first time that we are going to pass so please let me know if we are here or not uh, when you are going to hear your name please uh you can say me i'm here yes and or oh, hi teacher or something okay present or something like that okay okay just give me a second i will pass the list in a second just give me a second i will do it a little bit quick right now okay Okay, just give me a second. Okay, it's here. Okay, Adriana Guadalupe. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, mm. Jesus Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Grac Graciela. Perdón. Ah, she's not here. Jorge Alexis. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ismael. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn Madaí. I'm here. Thank you, Juan Carlos Menéndez. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla Maricela. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla Paola. I'm here. Thank you, Katherine Abigail. Present. Thank you, Katherine Giselle. Present. Thank you, Kenya Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Kenny Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Liborio Adiel. Hmm. Lorena Yamilet. Present. Thank you, Mario Adolfo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maybelline Dariana. Present. Thank you, Miguel Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel Ángel Guardado. Present. Thank you, Natalia Inés. Present. Thank you, Nelson Javier. Present. Thank you, Norma Enríquez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Oscar Salvador. Present, teacher. Thank you, Raquel Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Rodolfo López. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rosen, Rosenberg Armando. Thank you, I'm Rosemary. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Rosemary? Roxana Melissa? Present, teacher. Thank you. And Stephanie Lisset? Stephanie Present. Lisset. Okay. A, a todos los mencioné y a todos? Yes. Okay, everybody. Thank you for that. Okay, so that was the first time that we were uh, past the attendance. So we're going to continue with the new topic that is going to be a little bit easy because the two topics uh, that we're going to discuss that you already 
uh, read at the beginning, there was uh, was and word, and also we're going to study did. Yes, but we already discussed about both of them. And but today we're going to do something like we're going to uh, pay attention how we're going to uh, look very carefully how we're going to use was were or did. Okay, so we're going to start with this that listening where was she born okay uh where these people born when were they born listen and complete the chart i don't know if you did it si no estaba en la plataforma no sé si lo, lo hicieron o tuvieron la idea No. Ok, no. en este sí no tenemos pista de, de dónde nacieron, solo tenemos el ejemplo de Michelle. Michelle, she was uh, born in Malasia. The year, I'm not sure. Ok, so this exercise, so we are going to avoid because I'm not sure that is in the platform yes but we're going to read this okay i don't know if you can read this information no sé si alcanzan a leer esta letrita yes okay yes qué hojas los que tienen ustedes no yes <laughs> okay so we have here and the um pronunciation so we have the negative contractions so we're going to use one syllable or two syllables yes so how we're going to pronounce the first one aren't uh-huh well, don't don't, don't. weren't mm -hmm. can't can't yes. and can't uh-huh isn't isn't didn't okay didn't. good so we have here uh, some uh, sentences how we're going to use the auxiliary did and don't doesn't weren't okay so that is going to be how we're going to use the auxiliary in present and also in the past, yes? So the first one, who wants to read the first one? Me, Me teacher. <laughs> okay, uh, Jocelyn, the first one, the second one, I'm not sure who said me. Yo. <laughs> okay, continue. Okay, so we're going to start. They didn't eat dinner because they were hungry. Okay, second one. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Okay, next one. Who wants to read it? These aren't their swim sweet. Mm -hmm. They can swim. <laughs> okay, and the last one? He was he was uh, here yesterday and he isn't there today. Okay, so we can see how we're going to use here the auxiliary in past, yes, in this case, did. And also, so we have how we're going to use the auxiliary do. Okay, so tenemos que ir teniendo cuidado como vamos a ir utilizando el auxiliar, ¿verdad? porque si vemos un yesterday, no le vamos a poner eh, he is, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque el auxiliar is, en este caso, me estuviera utilizando en presente. Y con un pasado que diga yesterday, no pega, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No pega. Como que él estuvo ayer. Como eh, eh, queriendo decir algo que estaba en presente, pero que lo dijo como que estaba en pasado. Él está ayer. <risas> él está ayer. Ajá, él está ayer. Así que tenemos que ir teniendo cuidado. Este, la forma de cuando vamos a irlos utilizando. ¿Yes? Yes. Okay, I don't know if you have any question about this. No? No. Okay, so we're going to continue 
with this. I need two volunteers, let me check. Yes, I need two volunteers that can read this information. This short conversation. Where did you grow up? Ok, voluntarios. Ok, Roxana Melissa es una. Sí, Kenia. Sí, Kenia. Ok. ¿El qué le pasó? So. Ok, so we're going to start. Kenia and Roxana. Eh, One, two, so, three. So, Shuk, where did you grow, grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. Uh -huh. 90. 90. 90. I went to college here. Oh, what was your um, major? Math? Major. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That is interesting. So, we did you because a uh, hair hair stylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, ooh. <laughs> thank you you're welcome okay thank you for your participation that was interesting right oh my goodness imagine that you go to the the salon and that you look like something like this like in the picture like this so you are going to say oh wonderful or you are going to say the same like melissa what do you think the same like melissa <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah the same right Ooh. okay so if you notice over here that we were discussing in the conversation that we were using about did here yes where did you grow up yes this is the first one let me check over here this is the first one Hey, me apoyen con los micrófonos, por favor. Thank you. Okay, so this is the first one. Yes, auxiliary did. Why? We're going to use did and not where. ¿Por qué creen ustedes que utilizó el did y no el where? Ajá, ¿por qué creen ustedes? Me imagino por el grow up es un verbo. Ajá. Sí, excelente. Porque le está preguntando que dónde nació o dónde creció, perdón, dónde creció. ¿Dónde creció? ¿Dónde creciste? Ajá. O dónde creciste, ¿sí? Entonces después dice, I grew up in Texas. ¿Yes? Después, I was born. ¿Por qué le dice I was born y no le dijo I did born? Porque es algo en pasado. En pasado. Pero los dos son en pasado. Did y was es pasado. Por el subject. Por... Ajá. El Pero el subject el lo puedo utilizar con el did. Porque no lleva un verbo. Porque Por no verbo. lleva un verbo. Ajá. Ok. Y si se recuerdan la diferencia del was y el did, ¿cuál es? El estuve, teacher. Ajá. Porque yo estuve o fui. Estuve. De estar o haber. Con de el was a word. Yes. Y el did es de hacer. Ok. No sé si me va captando la idea. Recuérdense que con el did vamos a utilizar después el verbo. When do you. Come. Come. Yes. Si se fijan, cuando utilizamos el auxiliar did, estamos utilizando el verbo. El verbo. Uh -huh. Ok, si se fijan en otro con was, 
¿sí? De un solo le está diciendo aquí, what was your major? Yes. Sí, no está utilizando ningún verbo. I was an actor. Yo fui un actor. Por eso no utiliza ¿Qué? el did. Mande. ¿Qué es major, teacher? Es como la, ah, la, la carrera. Carrera. Ajá, mm. lo que estudió. Ah, okay. Por eso okay. ella, él le dice, perdón, eh, drama, I was an actor, que él había ah. estudiado dramatización, drama, uh -huh. ok, entonces le dice, I was an actor, entonces después, why did you become a hairstylist, yes, no vamos a poner este, el, el where, thank you, where, oh, right? well. Ok. Uh -huh. No sé me, si me va captando la idea. Más o menos. Más o menos, sí. Ok. Eh, después de eso, tenemos aquí the grammar focus. Yes. So we have the WH question with did can be was or in this case we can use also where. Yes. Those are the three auxiliaries in past. Ok. Uh, but in the simple present. Okay, so we have here some um, questions about WH question, the auxiliary did. So then we have the auxiliary and also we have the verb. Yes, I don't know if you remember about the video that we have in the platform. ¿Se recuerdan de eso? Vamos a ver. Les voy a dejar de compartir ahorita mi presentación para que ustedes puedan ver dónde la pueden encontrar. Mi check. Ok. Este es el video donde ustedes pueden encontrarlo, que es en el 5.9. Ya. Yes. So, si quieren refrescar este video, lo pueden ir a ver. Ya. Yes. O escuchar porque... Ah, ¿Me avisan si lo pueden escuchar? ¿Lo pueden escuchar? A little bit. No. No. A lo lejos, pero súper poquito. Sí, mínimo. ¿Y ahora? No. No. Súper no. distante está. Se apagaron los micrófonos quizás. Ok, sí. los voy a invitar este, que vayan a ver este video nuevamente, que es el 5.9, yes, en the platform, so you can uh, remember about how we're going to use the auxiliary did and also the was. So we have here, I guess, the structure, let me check. Ok, so we have here the structure about how we're going to use with the auxiliary did. Yes, yeah, so we have the WH question or WH word plus did plus the subject plus the verb in the present. Remember, when we're going to use the auxiliary did, we're going to use the verb in the present form. Yes? And also we have the complement and the question. Yes, that is one of the clue how we're going to use or different the was and did. Because if you remember the yesterday we were discussing about uh, when we're going to use was on where, we're going to add in, and um, when we're going to add another verb, we're going to have to use the ing, yes? Recuerden que cuando vamos a utilizar lo del auxiliar did, recuerden que vamos a poner el verbo en su forma presente. Pero si ocupamos el was o el where, tenemos que, este, si utilizamos otro verbo, perdón, si utilizamos un verbo, tenemos que agregarle la ing, ¿yes? Porque eso ya nos convierte en un progresivo. ¿Se recuerdan que estuvimos discutiendo eso el día de ayer? ¿Yes? yes. Que no tenemos que agregarle otro verbo porque si no se nos convierte en continuo. Ok. Esta es la estructura para el did. Veamos, aquí está la del was. Veamos. Veamos. Sí. Aquí tiene que estar. Yes. 
Aquí está. How we're going to do the question using the was or where? WH word plus was or where depend the subject, right? The complement and the question mark. Yes? So we're going to do some practice about how we're going to use both of them or the, th the three different uh, auxiliaries, okay? So we have here this one. You can see my screen? Yes. Okay, excellent. So we have here, where do you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Yes, this is the past of grew. Yes, grew up is in presente, porque recuerden que vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did y después el verbo en su forma presente. Yes. Cuando vamos a responder en pasado, I grew up in Texas. Yes. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Yes. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Yes. ¿Por qué le responde así? Porque ese, ¿qué, ¿qué es ese? ¿Qué verbo es? ¿Regular o irregular? Irregular. Irregular. Regular. Regular o regular? Regular. Ok. Regular. Yes. Needed. Ok. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación cuando termina con D y T? <coughs> Dos puntos a quien lo diga. Need. Need. Ah. <risa> con T, Need. con I, D. O con D. Con T. Con T. Ay, esta, esta parte de la fonética estuvo un poquito confusa, permíteme. Así como que, teacher, no me acuerdo. Ajá. ¿Qué dice el público? Con T. Con T termina. Con T. ¿Qué dice la regla de las terminaciones en pasado en regular? Ajá. Ajá, ajá. Vale. Ajá. ¿Qué dice la regla de los pasados, las pronunciaciones? Los verbos que terminan con T y D, su pronunciación es I, D. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, es con... En conclusión es con T. O con... el punto. Ah, va, sí, ya lo voy a poner. Aquí, espérame, punto. Espérame. Un punto va a poner. <risa> un punto. Cabal, un punto. Uy, ¿qué pasó acá? Quiero ver. Ahí está. Ahí está el puntito. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, we're going to uh, looking for this information that when we're going to use the auxiliary did, the verb is going to be in the present. Yes, and when we're going to answer that questions, we're going to use the verb in the past. Yes? Okay, so we have here another examples. How old? Were you in 1990? I was 18. Yes, I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Yes. ¿Cómo estuvo la universidad? ¿Cuántos años tenías en 1990? ¿Sí? ¿Tenías eh, o de qué, o qué era tu eh, carrera? ¿Sí? No sé si me va comprendiendo. Sí. Yes. Ok. So, I don't know if you did this activity 
in the platform. You did? Sí, sí. Are you sure? Sí. Okay, so number one is with letter C. Yes? Okay, number two. Letter F. Okay, let me check. Letter F. Okay, letter F. Okay, number three. Uh, G. When did you G. start short? Okay, number four. Uh, A. A. Okay. Uh, number five. H. H. Okay. Uh, letter number six. B. 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 She was really shy. B. Sorry. Who was your friend? Who was your first friend in school? Um, ah, no, es la, la, la letra D, la D, seis. D, D, yes. Sí. Okay, D. seven. B. 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 And the last one? I. I. La I. E. A, E. E. Y la I, ¿dónde está? Cuatro. F4. Four. four. Ese es A. En number four está A. Ajá. Ah, no llegamos al I. Sorry. Olviden. Todavía no nos duele, teacher. Yeah. Ok. Hey. That's good. Ok, easy. Yes. Ok, so what we're going to do right now. Ok. I don't know if you already understood about o oh, about the was and were and also the did. No sé si van comprendiendo el uso del was y were y el did. Recuerden que el auxiliar did es para uh, decir que hizo, ¿sí? Porque es del auxiliar do o does, ¿sí? ¿yes? Entonces, vamos a hacer un ejercicio ahorita, ¿sí? ¿yes? Um, veamos, fill in was where into the gaps. If there is a negative, use the negation wasn't or where. Ok, so vamos a hacer esta actividad ahorita. Solamente estas 10 y las otras 10 se las voy a enviar para que ustedes las practiquen. Ok. No sé si quieren que se las envíe al WhatsApp. Y ustedes las hacen o las hacemos aquí juntos. O escriben ustedes las respuestas en WhatsApp, ahí en el, en, el, en el chat. Ok, esta está fácil. Veamos. Last year, my best friend. Ajá. Uh -huh. What do you think? Was. Was. Ok, was. The weather. Was cold. Was. Ok. Cold. When? Where. Oh, where. where. Ok. Why? Where. Okay. Where. Where. You so angry yesterday. At this time, last year, Natalia. Was. 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 Where. 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 Tired. Was. Oh, sorry. Tired because it was. 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 Okay. Jason. Was. Was. 
Was. At was. 10 o'clock yesterday. Ajá, pero aquí dijeron que si encontrábamos algo oh, así, iba a ser. Eso okay. iba a ser. Was. Ok. Our hotel last year. Was or where? Where. Where. Are you sure? sure. Pero está con. Nuestro hotel el año pasado. Where was. Okay. Where. I was. Was or where? Was. Where ah. was. Was. Okay. Eh, was. But it. Was. 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 Mm. Después vamos a calificarlo. Eh, I found you at the weekend, but you weren't. Weren't. Okay, weren't. Excellent. Weren't at home. My dad was. 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 Okay, was. At was. work. Because he wasn't. Because he. He. Was. 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 My dad. Wasn't. Was. No was. In this case, no. wasn't. Because he. Uh-huh. Wasn't. Wasn't. At work. Uh-huh. Because mm. he was. He was ill. Yes. In this case. Uy. No estuvo en el trabajo porque él estuvo enfermo. Y la negativa sería la primera. Okay. okay. And the last one. The shops. Where? 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 Open yesterday. Okay. Easy. Easy, right? Okay. Este del 11 al 20 se lo voy a enviar para práctica. Okay, so we have here uh, just how we are going to uh, read the did, the auxiliary did or didn't. Okay, uh, who wants to read the examples? Me. Okay, thank you. You didn't play football yesterday. Did you help your brother? Mr. Jones didn't read the magazine. Yes, Did you? Did you eat in the cafeteria? Jake and Emma, do you have your mom? Did Jane find her exercise book? Did the pupils mm -hmm. write a story? Did the pupils do difficult exercises? Did you go to London? Jake and Ben, did you play football with the dog? Okay, so you can see the difference between how we're going to use the did and also how we're going to use the was. I don't know if you can see the difference. No sé si miran la diferencia. Yes. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer una práctica ahorita. Yes. Where, yes. Entonces, vamos a hacer esta práctica que puede hacer. Puede que sea o was, where, or did. Okay. ¿La alcanzan a leer? Yes. Okay, so the first one. What do you think? Where? Did. Where? Where? Did. Where? Did. 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 Okay. Yes. Number two. Where? 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 Okay. Where? When? Where? When was? When was she did. by her? Did. Are you sure? Did. Did. Uh -huh. did. Okay, be careful did. with the bird. Uh huh. When did, did she buy her new car? Okay, how much? Was. Was. Or where? Did. 
¿O quién da más? Ah. <ríe> uh -huh. Es where. How much? Was. 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 Was the dress. Okay. Next. Did. Okay. Six. Was. Was. Where. 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 Was. Was. <laughs> was. Did. Do. This. Ajá, was or was porque está hablando de su hermana. Ah, ok. Was your sister happy when she opened the, your present? Ok. Was your when sister. Did, when, when did you write? When did you write? Ok, un verbo. Did you write? Did you watch the football match? Yes. Mira, mi amor, a ver quién me ha puesto esta foto. Okay. Where? 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 Okay. Was. Thank you. Okay. Was okay. Certain. Found. I don't know if easy for you now how we're going to identify the use of was and did. Yes. A little bit. Practice. New. Eso se necesita. Okay, yes, practice. Yes, that is true, right? So we have to practice the topics that we already discussed. So we're going to do something like practice with um, did and was, and that you are going to be mastered on that. Okay, lo que tienen que hacer es prácticas para que ustedes vayan ya asimilando este, el uso de cada uno, ¿verdad? Porque si ustedes miran un verbo, así como acá, y ustedes le ponen, digamos, el verbo de was, sería when was she buying her new car, ¿ok? Si aquí estuviera buying, entonces sí sería was, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Ok, I don't know if you have any question about the topic. Yes. Okay, tell me. ¿Tienen alguna duda con respecto al tema? ¿O a los no. pasos? No. Si surgen no, algunas teacher. preguntas, por favor, escriban. Yo ahorita después de la clase este, les voy a, a pasar esto en PDF para que este, lo tengan y puedan practicar, ¿verdad? Este, les voy a mandar okay. toda la información que no está en el libro. Si se fijan, todas las presentaciones que les he mandado no hay información del libro, sino solo no. lo que he podido ayudarles con algo de soporte. ¿Yes? Para los okay, ok, este nos vamos a ver mañana, pero antes de terminar, este, les voy a pasar la última vez la lista. Ok. So, okay. I will do it a little bit quick. That I know okay. you don't want to go to sleep or do something else. Okay, Adriana Guadalupe. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Jesus Antonio. Jocelyn Graciela. Jorge Present Alexis. Teacher. Thank you, Jesus. Jorge Alexis. Jose Ismael. I'm here, teacher. Listen, Jorge, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Jose Ismael. No le voy a I got a teacher 80% in the platform. Class. Okay, excellent. I will check it right now. Okay, okay um, Jocelyn Madaí. I'm here. Thank you. Juan Carlos Menéndez. Present teacher. Fernando Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Maricela. 
Present uh, teacher. Thank you, Carla Paola. I am here. Thank you, Catherine Abigail. Present. Thank you, Catherine Giselle. Present teacher. Kenya Jamilet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Kenny Jamilet. I'm here, teacher. Liborio Adiel. Lorena Jamilet. Here. Thank you, Mario Adolfo. Present teacher. Maybelline Dariana. Present. Thank you, Miguel Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel. Present. Thank you, Natalia Inés. Present. Present. Thank you, Norma Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Raquel Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Rodolfo López. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rosenberg Armando. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rosemary Janet. Roxana Melissa. Present, teacher. Thank you, and Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, thank you. So, I don't know if you have any question, please let me know, write me, please, I will help you. Si tienen alguna duda, por favor, pregúnteme, yo le puedo ayudar, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Ok, everybody, okay. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok, bye-bye, take care. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.